Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Many of you probably weren't even born 19 years ago when 9-11 happened. But if so, what were you doing at that time? Myself was sitting at home watching the news when it came across and I was just so shocked and as the words came in of one tragedy after another the thought of our country possibly being at war uh, went through my mind. My children had recently gone to school. They were in grade school at that time. I immediately went to the school and pulled them out of class. They were in elementary at that time. I wasn't the only one, the only parent that was picking up their children from the school. I noticed when I was parking out front and running inside to get them, that there was many other parents arriving to pull their children out of school. It was a day of horror that many of us probably wish we could forget. And I send my prayers to all of those that died during the attack and all those first responders that died from cancer and other illnesses they caught during the rescue operations. I really don't believe the world has become a better place since 9-11. Maybe it would be if we had more heroes, such as the 40 passengers on that flight that crashed in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. To me, the motto, never forget, is a call to stand up and to do what is right and to defend those that aren't capable of defending themselves, not to just walk away and ignore some act of violence, but to actually step in and do what you can. I'm not going to talk about the conspiracy theories of how it could have been prevented. The only thing I am going to say is that during the congressional hearings after um, this tragic event was watching one FBI, one man that was in charge of one office in the FBI who didn't pass on information that he knew that possibly could have prevented such a tragedy said the reason he didn't pass on the information was because of budget cuts and he was mad there was a lot of excuses of why this happened yeah it was a very sad sad day you might say have things gotten better since 9-11 i really don't think they have i remember how all flights were canceled all all airports were shut down shortly after this event and as i watched them reading the names of those that had died during these attacks i still cried 19 years later such a tragedy maybe someday i'll have the chance to go to new york and see the memorial to pay my respects and um, place some flowers did this event make our country stronger did it make you stronger some of us i think it did for me it was um, saying enough i've had enough i'm not putting up with it anymore i recently met one of my new neighbors who moved into the building evidently my landlord um, told them or maybe it was a warning he says don't make mary mad I'm easy going unless someone decides to tread on my rights, tread on my freedoms, tries to uh, change the sanctuary of my apartment, my space. Um, yeah, I was surprised. <laughs> He's warning uh, new tenants. Um, yeah, don't make Mary mad. Yeah, I was living here before he bought the building and I guess it's uh, security for him to have the income every month as other people have come and gone. But I think about all the problems that are going on in the world right now. And if more people would stand up and say, no, I'm not putting up with the BS, um, it might be a better place. I don't know. All we can do is try. Not stick your head in the sand and ignore things that are happening. So where were you on 9-11, if you were in fact born when this happened? Like I said, I was sitting at home watching the news. My kids had just gone off to school. And shortly after, I went and pulled them out because I thought we were at war. Well, 
Yeah, I don't know. Many people might have a different opinion about that. But after the events, a few couple hours, no one really knew. Um, us, the average citizen, no one really knew what was going on. So please put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe. God bless you all. Bye.